Hello everyone, I'm Serum Police, and welcome back to another episode from my Gondor campaign. Right now we're still trying to make advances in many different directions, and what I think I might do is hold on to the south and the west until I finish up in Mordor. Then I can bring in maybe an army and a half, which would really give me that final push I need, because I need two armies in order to make those great pushes. Why? I need one to take, then one to push, one to hold, one to push, and it just goes on like that. And so, I need to go ahead... And look at what I'm doing here. Let's see. You guys, I want to have go forward. But before I do that, I need more men to go help me out. So I'll take... Let's see. Let's combine these guys. I'm trying to, anyway. There we go. I'll take these two and the, these two as well. Because I have plenty of armored defenders who can take out any rabble that the Easterlings or Mordor can muster right now. I'll take these fellas as well. So once they're all here, we should be in a good place to go ahead and move on. I'll go ahead and take in... Can I move these two? Yes, I can. Good. Alright, so these two will go as well, and then I'll have a much larger force to fight with. And now that I have money, I want to go ahead and build some libraries and culture the people of Mordor. <laughs> What's a book? What is this? <laughs> well, Orc, I'm going to show you how to read. It's going to be wonderful. Alright, they're not happy over here, so I need to move back then. Let me go to build a watchtower here. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we'll have to wait here for a moment. Build those libraries. I still need more economic-based buildings economy-based buildings. So we'll do that. Alright, let's see. I'll grab... Uh-huh. I'm still looking. Hold on. Keep on looking. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of mines that I want to build, but those farms would be wonderful, too. I guess I'll go ahead and build a farm. Now, I'll look at my, my most vital cities and see from there what I want to build here. I'll build a crop rotation field over here. A fairground. What else do we have? For great money. That would help me out with law, and that would actually help me out with less corruption and more money. Merchant's Wharf wouldn't be too bad. It's fairly expensive, though. And I'm not really trading with too many people over, I guess, the rivers here, or seas, or whatever, oceans. So I'm not too bothered with that. But I will build a chicken farming coop. It's not too much. Alright, it's most of my money right now, so I'll have to wait off on everything else. But yeah, so I'll wait where I'm at for right now. I don't know where the big enemy armies are. Well, I know where one is, right here. And he's like, oh, I'm coming for you. Mmm, yes. And we're going to have to wait on that. Okay, so we'll wait for these armies to get all together, and then we'll go ahead and head on out. And we'll be ready. We'll be ready very soon. Yeah, so this campaign's been quite delightful so far. And just with what I've been able to do, I've been able to push my foes back so hardcore. And it's like, man, Denethor, you should have just hired me. I would have handled this. I, I would have cleaned up all these orcs, man. You wouldn't have had an orc. You would have been like, orc who? Orc what? And I would have been like, I don't know. They're gone now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Looks like they're going after Henneth at noon right now. Oh, boy. I hope they don't try to actually take it. They have a village north of the Black Gate, but I don't want to get it right now. I really don't want to. No, I've not erred. You've erred in typing that. Okay. I love how every time someone besieges one of your towns, it's like, Oh, doom and gloom. Like, ah, whatever. They'll be alright. Got another little force over here. Oh, plenty of men to handle these guys. No problem. Okay. Here we go. And now I just need this group of five to come help me. We have a little group of orcs over here. Karan's doing just fine. Let's see. How are we doing over here? Looks like Nuffall is closer. Didn't I have a force to come help me? Oh, did I not move him? Huh. Oh, right, he's already combined here. Right, I was like, man, where is he? But no, he's right here. He's right here. Alright, let's go look at my major earners here. Like, man, it's to death over here. I'll go ahead and build his mining network, gain some more money. That will be done in seven turns. Alright, let's go look in the west now. No one is questioning my authority, which is wonderful. Alright, let's see. What else do we have going on? So yeah, I'll have to wait a little bit before I can go out. Oh, wow, it's another big army. Yeah, see, that's why I need two armies. So I can just push together and have a great time. But right now, not having that great time. Alright, I'll need more units in a little while. So it's almost time for us to go ahead and push on. And let's, I guess we'll end this turn right now. Yeah, so I know I've been bringing up a lot of Dota 2 lately. But we've been playing it as a group myself, Red, and my friend from Link Cable. And it's been fantastic. And so... We've been doing a lot of that, and apparently there's some angry dogs outside. Oh, that's wonderful. I want none of what you're offering. 
No. Oh, they're, they're gone now. Oh. Apparently he was hidden away. Well, I'm hoping I'll spawn in the armored defenders or that I could get ugly. Now he's going after Minas Ithil. I don't think these orcs know what, what they're doing. Oh, let's just take things. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to go well. And apparently I forgot to put this guy back into port, so I'm going to lose my one ship. No. He has been destroyed. Almost. That's two battles lost just because I didn't have him there. He's like, dang it. My one ship was not meant to be here. Oh, well. Okay. Nope. You're not joining my family. I have plenty of family members. So now, as you can see, I'm going to have a fairly large force. I see these orcs trying to leave. Let's see. If they all spawn in armored defenders, I'll be okay. If not, I probably won't be. Huh. That ought to be interesting. Oh, look at him. He's even larger than he was before. Neat. I like to spy on him. Let's let's do it. Alright, let's see. He's 54, crazy in battle. Uh-huh. He doesn't like Pris. Okay, well, I figured from looking at him. Don't mean to judge him but by how he looks, but he looks kind of crazy, so... That's a lot of spearmen. That would be a fairly bloody battle for us. Oh, my. Oh, my. I need more men to go join me down there, then. And so it shall be. I'll send one of my leaders down there to go help out. Let's see who else we'll have to recruit. You, 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 you. Might just be able to build up a second army for now. That would be better than me having to invest for the moment. Because I, I just need to keep on conquering. There is no halting to that measure. Alright, if you guys want to come mess with us, that's uh, pretty cool. I'm going to watch that. Yeah, see, now I can see more. I only have one little unit there, so that might not go well for us. Okay, so we're about to be done with this area in just a little while. Let's buy a door, do our thing, and then over here, doing just fine. We got some people at Minas Ithil, but again, I have many armored defenders. It's in that turn too. No, oh, come on, orcs of Gondor. Orcs of Gondor. Orcs of Gondor. Orcs in Gondor, rather. Goodness, needs my coffee now. Yeah, let me shake this all over quick. Da 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 da. Okay, some good stuff there. Are they going to actually try to trigger that attack? They are. And I have our defender, so... <sighs> yeah, let's go kill them. Alright, so I'm going to start talking about some pretty nerdy stuff here, which I think is fine considering that I'm playing a Lord of the Rings mod for Medieval 2 Kingdoms, but anyway. I was thinking back to around 2008 when I brought my guild over from World of Warcraft over to Warhammer Online. And I remember I made a really good friend then. His name is... Eric and some of you may know him from the link cable show and so we met then and I remember I saw him on the forums and I was like man that is a really upstanding guy and I invited him to my guild and he joined and I know that he quite enjoyed his time there as did I the only issue with that game was that they promised to eliminate grinding and these guys are about to get murdered here which that was not the case they actually enhanced it to a terrible state where we had more grinding than ever, and I wish they weren't pushing... Why are they pushing out so much? Did I order them to just start going crazy and push out like that? And, wow, okay. Well, let me see if I can get my archers out there. That, that would be best that I could hit them pretty hardcore. Like, now they're surrounded. Great. Thanks a lot, you jackasses. That's exactly what I did not want. That was amazing. They just were like, okay, we're just going to push in or push out. And so, I remember one of my greatest events in that game was when I invited, I believe, it was around 20 guild leaders of various role-playing guilds because we were all uh, leaders of role-playing guilds. And I stood in the center in a temple in the capital of Reichland. And I re oh man, I remember having to stand there and people like would raise their hand. Like I, I would introduce the topic of conversation because we were trying to decide on policy between our guilds and also how we would handle things on the server to enhance role playing and things like that and so i would bring it up they would raise their hand and i would point at them and then they would speak their part and no one else would be allowed to speak i moderated this very well and i was very proud of myself too it was quite fun and i know that this is like super nerd stuff but man i used to love that type of deal though just being able to role play being able to immerse yourself in a different life and things like that because i mean it, it was fun. I mean, I, I don't have time now. I don't want to now, but for many years, that was a big part of my life, and it looks like we might lose this because my guys were all crazy and pushed out. That's why I wanted my archers out here to try to fire at them a little bit from behind. If we can even do that, that would be very nice, because right now, we're not doing too hot. 
So let's see. Maybe if I take them out their damn shield wall, they'll be able to fight a little better. Let's try that out. I don't think that's working as I had wanted it to. <laughs> but guys, if you want to not suck, shoot them with your arrows, I would love that. But yeah, so you had like around 20 guild leaders all surrounding me in a circle and we just did it like that and that was quite a bit of fun. We had some great PvP events too. And I remember a guy who I'm still friends with too from World of Warcraft. He led his own guild and he was kind of like the second in place to my guild there. And I, pr I bring that up because I give him a hard time. He's a fairly vain guy so I like to give him a few jabs to his ego. Not to say that maybe I'm not that but I mean I'm probably that too. But anyway... He led the Phalanx of Perdition, I led the Crimson Knights, and this was on a server called Bleeding Hollow, and this was years back. And you can actually find a video on YouTube dedicated to my character, and you can type in Crimson Knights Dance Video. And I'll, if I remember, I'll link it down below, and you guys can check it out. And we did manage to win this battle, which is good. And I, when, when I left that game, because, I mean, I got burned out after so long, which was around 2007, and... That was made for me, and that was really quite nice to see, and anyway, let's see. I think I've done my part. Let's go ahead and end that battle. Now we're done. Let's get back to the campaign map. There we are. Let me go ahead and just kill them off. Ah, that felt pretty good. Oh, we have more people trying to fight us. Hmm. If I ought to resolve that, will I win it? I hope so. Yes, thank you. Oh, very good. I was worried that we would not win that battle, but we in fact did. So I don't have to worry about fighting that. Wow, they spawned in a lot of men, too. That's incredible. Makes it very easy to hold certain locations. If they didn't have these spawned-in garrisons, I would have a much harder time. I personally think they shouldn't have them, but... Just ma vu. Just ma vu. Alright. We got that big army. It's, look, they're chilling out there. They know they can't beat me, but I don't want to fight them yet. I don't. Not yet. Soon, but not yet. Alright. We got my men over here now. And let's go ahead and leave behind someone. I'll leave behind... Hold on. You. That group could stay behind. Now the rest of us will go ahead and move forward. We'll start heading down here. Right, this orcs are still going up there. They're still going for it. Good for them. Can't quite reach them yet. Alright. So we'll just kind of chill out here for a little bit. I need more money. Are we dealing with that force still? No, we're not. Here, I'll just go chill out in that town instead. Now we'll combine if we can. There we go. And we can. But of course, I need to invest a little bit more. I'll go ahead and do some crop rotation over there. I'll go over to Karasast. And we have no economic buildings in that location. We're building mines over here. What about in Osgiliath? I'll build up a land clearance. Land clearance. Let's keep building up these. Oh, I need to apparently repair too. So we'll do that. Put up a land clearance again. Oh yeah, we're gonna farm it up, baby. Yeah, they're fighting me over in that area, but it's not a big deal. Okay, let's end this turn right now. And I'll probably talk about some more of my past gaming activities. I mean, there's quite a few things that I've done over the years in terms of gaming with friends and such. It's only been recently that I've been very public with my affairs, which you know, all of you have seen, because that's when I began my channel, and I'm still one of the newer channels in this too, which is always fascinating to me. Alright, let's see if we can auto-resolve that. Please work. Yes, thank you. Oh. At least I can auto-resolve some of these more minor battles from the Shadow of Mordor. Isn't that a game now? Like, Shadow of Mordor something? Yeah. I remember. We were talking about that last... Nah, I forgot to disband him. Crap. Alright, he's finally gone. But, I remember we looked at it and it was like, man, this is Assassin's Creed was kind of sketchy art. I don't really care for the art for it, but it does look neat. It looks like it, it'll be fun, and I know some people are mad that it has, like, powers and things like that, but whatever. I'm not even mad, man. I'm not even mad. I'm making a lot more money, though, which is nice. Look at this guy. I've never seen an AI just kind of, like, chill out there and wait for me. Now, I'm hoping the Principality will take... Now, see, if they take this, then I might feel more inclined to go on. Pelias. Okay. He'll do his thing. We still gotta move down here with Denethor. I want to do things in a careful way right now and then I'll handle it on my own time. Alright. I have rich stuff over in Mordor, so let's go look at what, what I have here. What do I have? I have ooh, mines over here that I need to build. I'll build those. Seven turns ago. And then over here, 
Fantastic place. Man camp is... Oh my gosh, over 2,000 coins? Holy... Oh, no. Uh, wait, plus 1,000? What the hell? Man camp is amazing. We should all go there to man camp. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Let's see. We got some people besieging us again. Oh, two orc units. How adorable. I'll just spawn in my fresh units of armored defenders. Good luck with that, bastards. Alright, I'm going to send in these guys now. Need more soldiers, as always. I'll send in more men down here. We're about to have another army, baby. About to have that army. Yeah, we are. We're about to have that army. Which would be nice. Yeah. yeah. Warhammer Online, big letdown. Now, I will say the classes in the game were wonderfully constructed. They were unique. They were diverse. They were amazingly fun. I played as a warrior priest. I remember I also played a bright wizard, primarily in PvP, and I dominated. Because, like, that was a glass cannon, which is how I played my mage in WoW. And in WoW, I remember... I would have my fire mage decked out in like plus fire damage gear because I mean I wasn't at the peak level with him. I kept him I think in the 50 to 59 bracket for whatever reason just because I wanted someone to PvP on for fun and I remember that I would just pop his fireballs or that, that big one that you would have to charge up for like 6 seconds for and like pyroblast I don't know but yeah I remember I would pop that and the rest of his instant spells and just Ooh, thousands of damage. Disgusting. I was always good at PvP in that game, but I wasn't a fan of the arena stuff. I was more a fan of the world PvP, and also, I guess the battleground stuff wasn't too bad. I remember Altarok Valley when it had the mobs, but then people started to go farm those. But I mean, it's like, that added diversity. That was fun. That was like having world PvP, but just in your own little zone. But then they changed it to where now people only rush for the leader on either side. And that was completely stupid and lame. Oh, hello there! Orcs! I greet thee! Let me show you my ways! Which I wish I'll do later. Alright, can I leave this place now? Yes, I can. Alright, we'll head on over here now. If they want to come fight me, they can feel free to. I I will challenge them. I challenge them. Alright, let's go look at this. I cannot believe how much money that I'm making here. That's incredible. I want to save up for it, though. I want a little bit more to go with that. Let's go check it out in the west. Oh, hello. A moot lord. Oh, my! That is a... Oh, my. Okay, that's two big armies coming for me. I'm going to need my armored defenders for that one. Let me begin to recruit out here. This is bad. Wow. Okay, so apparently they're, like, focusing on me or something. Because that's two armies coming straight at me, bro. Straight at me, bro. I'll have to be careful with that. That's... Mm, man. I don't like that. We'll have to handle those affairs. Get them in line. Oh, look at the orcs. They're coming at me, bro. They're coming at me. Oh, we're so outnumbered. Awesome. Awesome. But this battle here will save for our next episode, so I shall see all of you later, and as always, until then.